Hello from Covenant Life Fellowship, where Ken Porter, who is taking a nap, he's so tired, is the pastor. My name is Bev Porter. Welcome to Bev's Lifeline. Hey, look, we had the pleasure of um, having our children with us during the holiday, and we so enjoyed them so much. And we had a chance to worship together in service. It was amazing. Um, and after service, we went out to lunch, and we were joined by um, some wonderful women that we love, and they are really our family. And so at lunch, we just had these most amazing conversations, one of which um, one of my sisters and I, uh, we had this conversation about what we've learned over the last uh, several years. And, um, and I told her, I said, you know, what I've learned, I've learned a lot about me over the last several years. And I shared with her three things that I've learned. And I want to share them with you. I I'm going to be very transparent. Allow me to be so. Uh, and I, I am being transparent with hopes and prayers that it will minister to you as it has ministered to me. So the first thing that I shared with her is that the Lord has taught me, is teaching me how to minister even in my disappointment. So what do I mean? I mean that I have lived in a in a state of, over the last several years where um, I'm disappointed that people and men and women of God in particular have made a commitment to do something and they didn't do it. Um, and not only did they not do it, um, they didn't even offer any explanation as to why they chose not to do it. That's disappointing. Uh, what's disappointing is men and women who are leaders um, in the body of Christ um, will demonstrate behaviors that's so contrary to the Word of God. And that would be disappointing. And so I, I would have a choice. I would have a choice to retreat into my own safe haven, put up my force field, never let anyone else in, or to shut that person out. Because, you know, I mean, I can do that, right? I can, I can dismiss you, uh, be nice and cordial to you, but really shutting you out. But the Lord is teaching me that it's not about me, right? He's teaching me, because I'm sensitive, he's teaching me to heal quickly. In fact, my prayer request is um, to heal in a nanosecond, to have the ability to learn from whatever that disappointment is, apply it to my life, and then be able to move forward and still minister. Okay, that was the first thing. The second thing that I shared with my dear friend is the Lord has has taught me, is teaching me the importance of having a balance of consumers in my life. What's a consumer? A consumer is a person that the Lord allows in your life for a season and they have a need and the Lord has gifted us to satisfy that need. It's a beautiful thing. And I pray that we will always have consumers until the Lord calls us home. That's why we're here, right, to minister. But my lesson is um, the importance of releasing them be, uh, when that season is up. That's not what I would do, though. I would just continue um, to allow them to to be consumers in my life to the point that it was an imbalance, to the point that even after they have gotten everything that they needed from me, that they would move on, sometimes saying thank you, sometimes not. Sometimes uh, <laughs> uh, I wouldn't ever see them again until they needed something else, right? And so that would be disappointing um, to me. And the Lord shared with me that, you know, I I have to learn how to let go when the time and when the season is up. So I was carrying this heavy, heavy weight of disappointment that people were um, abusing the privilege uh, um, that was extended to them. And so I'm learning the importance of balance. And you got to learn that too. If you have an imbalance, then it will exhaust you to the point that you are unable to, to serve the way that God has intended. That was the second thing I learned. The third thing that I've learned, final thing, is how wonderful and beautiful it is to operate out of my giftedness. 
my the Lord has uh, has revealed to me two spiritual gifts. One is the gift of administration, and the second is the gift of being an encourager. So the gift of administration. So here's what I love. Uh, I love going into an organization and building something, building a part of the organization that did not exist, or going into an organization that's dysfunctional, and then to be able to bring order and harmony. Oh my goodness, I love that kind of job. I've just explained to you my entire career. The second gift is the gift of encouragement. I think this is why the Lord directed me to get my master's in counseling. It's just what I love. I love coaching. It's not work for me. It's like oxygen. And I just am so thankful how the Lord um, gives me what I need to give to those people who he who has been brought into my life. That's coaching and that's what I love and it's nothing greater. And so listen, as we go towards the end of our year, I pray that you will reflect as well on what you've learned over the course of time. And not only what you've learned, but how are you going to apply that for the upbuilding of the kingdom? And listen, if you don't know what your spiritual gift is, boy, do I have a suggestion for you. I suggest that you log on to Covenant Life Fellowship's website. It's www.covenantlf.org. And when you are on our website, go to the tab, Get Involved get involved. And when you're on that tab, you'll see the next line says, why should I get involved? And when you're on that page, you'll see so much information about spiritual gifts and how you can identify your spiritual gift. In fact, there is a spiritual gift assessment. It's free. If you don't know what your gift is, I encourage you to take that assessment. It will be very illuminating. And once you take it, then I ask that you read it carefully. Then talk Talk with someone that you that loves the Lord and that you trust and then pray to the Lord and he will reveal to you how you can use your spiritual gift for the upbuilding of the kingdom. You will not be disappointed. So listen, that's all that I have for you now. I trust and believe that this uh, lifeline has been an encouragement for you. Know that I love you, Infinity, and because this is ministry, I do need you to like it. I would appreciate appreciate it if you would share it. Until we meet again. Bye for now.